Soybeans were sharply higher, up 37 and a half cents here today after the USDA's October World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimates report. Uh, and that was an outside reversal higher day after tagging the lowest trade since June 15th. Uh, it also kind of completes a double bottom formation, a potential double bottom formation in the soybeans uh, when we put our low in back again in, in mid-June. Uh, we did get through that low by a few cents, as you know, as as we saw today this morning. Uh, but then we reversed quite a bit higher and closed well above that. So we'll have to see if that potential bottom holds. Uh, the news today all came from the USDA WASDE report, and it was a bit of a bullish report. And I say bit of a bullish report because the numbers came in fairly close to expectations, but on the positive side. For example, national average yield for soybeans uh, came in at forty nine point six. That compares to the average trade guess of 49.9, so just three-tenths of a bushel lower than the average trade guess. And that is also down from the USDA's September estimate of 50.1. So half a bushel reduction uh, as far as the USDA is concerned from September to now. Pretty close to the trade estimate, but a little bit better. And also that carries in over to carryover or ending stocks. Domestic ending stocks uh, were left unchanged at 220 million bushels. They were seen increasing to 233 million bushels as as far as the average trade guess was concerned. That didn't happen. They stayed the same at 220 million bushels. And that's a rather rather tight carryover. It didn't get bigger. So that was a bit of a bullish number. But there too, 13 million bushels was the difference between what the average trade guess was and what the USDA had to say. This is not a big number, folks. Uh, uh, 13 million bushels, you know, that's a, a, you know, room for error. You know, that's really not that big of a number. However, because yield came in lower than expectations and because carryover came in lower than expectations, those came together and it was a bullish report. Perhaps the most bullish number in the report was the world uh, the world carryover number. The trade was expecting 119.7 million metric tons. It came out at 115.6. So almost 4 million, yeah, 4 million metric tons lower than trade expectations. That's a pretty sizable amount. However, you have to take that into context because if you look at the last few years, that soybean world carryover has been hovering right around 100 million metric tons. So when we talk about 115 million metric tons, that's one of the bigger world carryover numbers we've seen in a while, albeit smaller than what our expectations were, still a rather big number. So I'm going to say there's some fairly mixed uh, soybean fundamentals going forward. It'd be very interesting to see if we can hold this reversal higher off of new recent lows off of a major double bottom, a longer term double bottom, or if this was just one big head fake that will be faded in the, in the days to come. I will also mention that there's a lot of analysts and traders out there looking for the, for soybeans to put in, quote unquote, a harvest low and seasonally trend higher between now and the end of the, end of the calendar year. This may or may not happen this year because there are a lot of outside factors that are happening. Obviously, there's tensions globally. There's concerns about the economy. The U.S. dollar has been on one of the strongest rallies that it's seen in quite some time. Uh, So it'll be interesting to see how all these factors come together and where soybeans will go from here. So everybody, stay tuned and buckle up. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.